Hey guys, it's President Eel for Zombie, and today I'm going to show you how you can get Catawba Shujo for your Android device. So first thing you need to do is, sorry for my phone, it doesn't focus well on the screen, but first thing you need to do is go to the Play Store, right here. I'm already on it, but get to something called Snap P. It's one word, it won't show up if you type it in two words. So once you've done that, um... Just open that, and then on, let me switch to the computer. On your PC, go to Google and type in snap, oopsie, span, snap P, and download that for Windows. I already have it downloaded, so just cancel. Um, and now, just open that once you're done, and you should come up to uh, with this screen, or something like it, and plug in your phone to your computer and uh, sync your computer with your phone and what snap p allows you to do is um, install applications add music videos and pictures from your computer onto your phone in an easy way so um, it even says down here like how much space you have left and all your apps and stuff so it's really helpful then what you're gonna wanna do is um, I'll have this link in the description click this link and it should automatically start downloading this file down here. This is the Android, I'm not sure what that stands for, but App um, Kit or something. But it's um, it's uh, something that Snap P will be able to f uh, read easily. So I'll just fast forward it. Alright guys, now that Katawa Shujo um, Android ver version is done downloading, I'll do show in folder and you just double click it and it'll know that um, snap P will know that it's that type of file so you just click install alright now um, on snap P um, it should say transferring to your device on Katawa Shujo alright now that it says completed you should see um, a message on your phone I'll switch to my phone view now Alright, so it should ask you, um, Katawa Shujo, do you want to install this application? Install to storage, network, system tools, um, just click install down here. And it shouldn't take that long because it already has transferred the files, so. Alright, um, it said app installed, so now to test it, I'll just click open right here. And you see, you'll see their background, and it should take a while. It's normal if it takes a while to load up. Alright, sweet. You can even hear the soundtrack. Um, sorry, my f camera doesn't um, focus that well, but it says start options and quit. I can just click start. And since I'm starting a new game, it'll just start from here. Um, one thing, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this or not, but um, some of the transitions and video, I know that video transitions won't work, but other than that, it's awesome. But yeah, you just click, you can go through the text. And so yeah, um, if you want to do things like, I know you need to save your game up here, clicking that will open up this menu. And I'll tell you, it's this return, show image, text history. Down at the bottom ish, you see save. Um, create new save state, that's what that says. And then it says progress successfully saved. So, yeah, if I want to load my game, there you see it there. Well, you can kind of see it. But yes, thanks for watching. That's how you get Katawa Shujo working on your Android. So, yeah, thanks.